Teammates sa ating sports chat, nakapanayam ko ang isang figure skating coach, Abraham Domdom. Ang detalye, panoorin natin ito. Ngayong hapon, teammates, makakasama natin dito sa sports chat. Sa si Philippine Skating Union Head Coach Abraham Domdom, upang makibalita tayo sa paghahanda ng ating Philippine National Skaters na sa sabak sa nalalapit na 2021 Nebelhorn Trophy na gaganapin sa Germany. Magandang hapon at welcome sa Sports Chat, Coach. Magandang hapon po. Coach, in less than a week, our two man national figure skaters will compete in the 2021 Nebelhorn Trophy, which is a Winter Olympic qualifying tournament. Gaano na po ba kahanda ang ating mga national skaters for this tourney? Um, actually, uh, mandang-handa na sila. So, uh, sa kanilang training, um, puspusan po yung uh, pag-practice nila sa kanilang um, home base, which is um, Adrian is in Montreal and Sophia is in um, Colorado Springs. Coach, the last time I've talked with Adrian Celestino and Sophia Frag, they mentioned about increasing the technical difficulty and artistry of their short and free skate programs. How is it so far? Napolish na po ba nila yung uh, kanika nilang respective programs? At ano na po ba yung ginawa nila to address this concern? Yeah, so far, um, they're improving with their um, programs and their, their technical skills um, para mas maganda pa lalo uh, mapakita nila sa Nebelhorn. How do their tournament routines pan up with the global competition at Nebelhorn? Sapat na po ba yung mga improvements na binago to raise their chances? Um, mahirap siyang sabihin kasi... Um, Masyadong mataas yung standards, lalo na sa mga elite levels. Pero hopefully, um, when Nebelhorn comes, they, they will do their um, best, like clean program, para at least kahit pa paano, um, may laban tayo and to qualify for the uh, Olympics. Sa assessment niyo ba, Coach, sino po yung magiging pinakamabigat na kalaban natin at that Olympic qualifying tournament? Oh yeah, um, for men's, um, dyan yung USA, Russia, South Korea, kasi um, actually, they got already their spots but they 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 they're going to get their third spot for uh, the Olympics which is yun nga. so we have um Vincent Zhu from US which is uh, malakas yon Aliyev from Russia yeah so yeah cross fingers for the ladies naman na si Alisa Liu from the US and from Poland si Korakova Paganini of Switzerland so talagang malalakas sa skaters din to. Pero, yun nga, sinasabi ko, may kasabihan tayo, like basketball, bilog ang bola, in skating, we have this saying na madulas ang yellow. So, anything can happen. Mm -hmm. So, ang, yeah. So, ang laban lang talaga natin is to have a clean program and, yeah, let's wait for the results. Mm -hmm. Coach, balikan ko lang in terms of the technical aspect. No? Ano po ba yung mga dinagdag in terms of uh, the difficulty of their programs? Oh yeah, they're polishing their triple triple um, combinations. Um, for for quads, medyo uh, mahirap ngayon. So we hope to not do it, because it will um, like, baka maapek to pa sa overall ng program like kung hindi makuha, right? Mas maganda, mas maganda is a clean program, clean routine with their um, uh, what they call this one. Um, kung baga kumpiansa sila sa elements na gagawin to have a good mm -hmm. and clean program rather than um, um, sa sabak sila like doing the risk of doing difficult programs that, that will affect their um, overall performance. Mm -mm. That's true, Coach. No? Ang importante, malinis. Yes, importante, malinis. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. And baka may chance pa tayo doon with a clean program, then let's see kung yung mga ibang skater, like they're gonna go for um, big elements then pumalpak sila. Let's see, baka mas maganda pa yung scores na makuha natin. Given their preparations and improvements, are there expectations set on your end naman, Coach? Ano po ba yung personal forecast niyo for the two skaters? Actually, um, we're not expecting. Like, um, ang, our target is to have a clean and good program, good scores. So, results, nandyan lang naman yan. Kung ma-qualify tayo, yes, that's good. But, syempre, andun pa rin tayo to get that um, qualifications. We're hoping na makuha yung, yung spot for the Olympics. But our target is to have a clean program. At least maganda yung laban natin. 
Now, Adrian and Sophia both train with different groups of international coaches. What are the pros and cons of the setup? Have the coaches raised any concern with you regarding our Philippine skaters? Oh, yeah. Um, Adrian is training in Montreal with coach um, Nicholas Young. And Sophia is training with um, Olympic coach Tammy Gamble in the uh, USA. So far, um, nakakausap naman namin sila like, kamustahan, how's, how's their training? Um, okay naman yung feedback nila. Like, um, the athletes are doing their best. Um, training hard. Yeah, and yun, sana nga maganda yung program na kakalabasan natin dito sa Devil Horn Token. Coach, kahit pa nagtitrain ng ating mga national skaters sa ibang bansa, how does the Philippine Skating Union assure that they are well taken care of? Um, uh, the federation is um, sending like um, help, like funds, um, taking care of their trainings, like for um, expenses, um, thanks to uh, SM Skating, one of our um, private sponsors for funding our skaters. Well, um, to tell you the truth, um, figure skating is napakamahal na sport. So, medyo, funds are there. We're giving funds, but medyo kulang kasi mahal tong sports na to. Then, they're training outside of the country, training abroad, so medyo um, pricey when it comes to, to training. Pero, um, the quality of training naman outside is very good. Like, talagang maahasa talaga yung mga skaters natin. Mm -mm. With that, maraming salamat, Coach Abraham, for your time. We wish you well and stay safe. Maraming salamat po. Thank you. Yan, do you meet si Coach Abraham Domdom ng Philippine Skating Union? Ako naman po si Meg Siozon at ito ang Sports Chat.